Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS on Tom Clancy Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, I did a video like uh, a year ago, so now I'm doing a small update on it. Uh, and I will show you what you can do. And uh, let's start with the application, like the launcher of it. Just find the, uh, the place that you installed your game. So me, it's on my D drive, Tom Clancy Rainbow Six. Find the application one with the logo Rainbow Six. Uh, normally it's 50 meg right click on it click properties compatibility the first thing that you need to check is disable full screen optimization after that go to change idp se dpi setting sorry and click here override idpi scaling behavior uh, if you have uh, you didn't do the update on windows you normally you can see the box of the dpi here uh, me, I think it changed like a month ago. So uh, yeah, so pro the, the box can be there or in this properties. So that's it for the icon. Let's start with the game itself. So first of all, uh, make sure that your display setting are all right because uh, I had like some weird behavior when I installed the game. Uh, it gives me like weird um, option. Uh, so first of all, I'm playing full HD. I have a 144 Hertz screen, so make sure that it's doing this here. When I installed the game, the game was at 99 like this. So uh, kind of weird. Make sure that it matches your screen. After that, make sure that you remove uh, VSync. You don't want input lag, and also you want to unlock your FPS uh, with your screen, etc. So that's about it. Now let's start with the graphic. This game is a bit weird. It's taking a lot of resources on your CPU. So a lot of people are asking me questions like, Oh, I have a good GPU, but I don't understand. I don't have like my 100 FPS, blah, blah, blah. But they have like a, yeah, I don't know, i3, um, an old i3 from Intel. And this is your bottleneck for sure. I uh, will show you what kind of like feature that you can remove to get like more FPS because it's a, it takes a lot of resources on your CPU. So let's start with the texture quality here. Uh, this one is depending on your VRAM. That's cool in this game. You can see your VRAM on your video card and also you, they, they're telling you uh, if you put I, you need three gig and more. So just look at this small menu here and choose whatever you need. After that, uh, use 4X air. Don't go too much. Uh, honestly, uh, you will see some, uh, I, I like weird, uh, problem with my AMD car when I was playing at like 16x I got like some drop of FPS so play with four if you have an integrated video card just put two and uh, you should be fine over here uh, LOD quality I'm playing at I for sure if you have an, uh, an integrated video card or an old video card go with medium or low just do some testing here but uh, I will show you what you need to change first and if you don't get your 60 maybe you should go there after that Shading quality, same thing, medium. You can go a little bit lower with that. I'm getting two FPS for each bracket here. So depending on what you need. So here, this is the most important place. Shadow quality, put this one at low. Uh, it's it's crazy. If very high to low, I'm getting like 15 FPS in this game. So this one is taking a lot of resources on your CPU. Same thing with reflection. Just put this one at low. You will gain a lot of FPS, five to six for each bracket. Ambient occlusion, remove this. Lens effect. This one had a like, big impact on my in AMD card. So uh, again, remove this. Zoom in depth uh, of field. I always like play off on any first person shooter and I I'm getting FPS in this game. That's weird. Other game, I just remove it and I don't see uh, the difference. But in this one, I'm getting like two FPS when I remove it. So everything here, low, low, off, off, off. And just this, you will gain a lot of FPS. After that, anti-aliasing, I'm using TAA, but uh, you can test if you want the FXAA, if you have an older computer, uh, just do a test. Because sometimes you will gain less FPS with this, that, that it's a bit weird the way your uh, video card will process it. But uh, for sure, if you're removing anti-aliasing, uh, a game like in a Rainbow Six, I feel sometimes, I, I think I'm seeing someone, but you know, it's just the object, the line of the object who's breaking when I play. So uh, just use like FXAA or TAA. Don't go too crazy with that because you will see a lot of, uh, uh, you will, will lose a lot of FPS when you go at two or four X. Okay. So after that, rend uh, render qu qual scaling, sorry. 
when I installed the game, it, it was a bit weird. I was like at 60. They didn't understand why because I have a pretty good computer. So make sure you, have, you are at 100 here. So it's your scaling with your resolution. But this one, you can gain a lot of FPS, but you will see a big decrease in your image quality. So it's about like, you can test something like 90 if you're still not getting your 60 with all the setting that I show you. But honestly, when you start touching this, maybe you should think to change just your resolution. Don't play full HD, go with something like 720p. And after that, look at your graphic. Maybe you can do something like 720p in the display and put the render sc uh, scaling at 90. But honestly, under 90, I feel like the game is starting to get blurry and you see pixels and stuff like that. So yeah, don't go too crazy with this one. For sure, it, you will have a nice effect on your FPS, but uh, yeah, don't do, don't, do, don't do it too crazy. So uh, that's about it for Rainbow Six, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, so CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Peace!